Energy is one of the big topics during this election season. Today, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin was in Virginia Beach laying out his long term plan for energy production in the Commonwealth. 10 on your side's Amy Avery is here with more on what he talked about. Amy. Lashley, Governor Glenn Youngkin says he believes the state has made progress in the last decade when it comes to clean energy, but believes more needs to be done in order to meet what he believes is Virginia's destiny. When it comes to affordability, we have so much more work to do because we need so much more power. Governor Glenn Youngkin spoke about energizing the Commonwealth at Virginia's Energy Summit. He says the state is experiencing significant job growth, but believes the Commonwealth isn't growing fast enough when it comes to power capacity for new businesses and companies wanting to come here. This Commonwealth that had gotten very comfortable with, with stagnant growth is growing like crazy now. And in fact, we see three times the growth in power demand than the states around us. And I think that will accelerate if we do our jobs right. He says the state is making progress, though. In the last year, the State Corporation Commission was reestablished and unnecessary fees were taken away from monthly power bills for Virginians. He also touted the progress when it comes to offshore wind and says promoting the long-term interests of the Chesapeake Bay is important. Transparency and honesty matter. And we should talk about the way that we are going to promote the survival of these aspirations to make sure that the Chesapeake Bay is the cleanest, safest, most wonderful bay in the world. But he still believes more work needs to be done and says that's where innovation comes in. He says we import more than 30% of our power from elsewhere and wants that to change. We need more gas. We need more solar and wind. And we need nuclear and we are going to lead the nation here. Senator Mark Warner was also at the Energy Summit today and agrees that the Commonwealth needs to have a focus on nuclear energy. He says no state is better positioned when it comes to thinking about where clean energy is coming from than Virginia. Amy Avery, 10 on your side.